today, AI is so powerful that anyone can write code. But making apps is more than just writing code. You need to be able to set up a development environment, install dependencies, and configure databases. Once you're done with all of that, you need to figure out how to share it with the world. Well, it's time to change that. My name is Amjad Massad. I'm the CEO of Replit. And today, we're announcing Replit Agent and Early Access. This is actually a prompt from a TED AI talk I gave about 10 months ago about agents. We didn't have the product back then, but now let's test the real product with the same, with the same prompt. Make an app of local landmarks based on my location. The agent uh, presented me with a plan. If this plan is fully editable, um, I just want to add the ability to search. One of the cool things about the progress pane is that you can learn what it's doing. So we don't want this ever to be uh, sort of obscuring uh, what the agent is doing. It should be fully transparent. This could also be a great way to learn how to build things because the agent is sort of explaining itself as it's doing it. So that's the app. See, that's exactly the kind of landmarks I would expect to see in Foster City, where we are recording this from. It's awesome. And so here you can give it feedback, you can iterate with it, you can give it more features. But I'll just say, yes, it looks great because it works, it's exactly what I asked for. And now the agent will move to the next step. And the next step uh, is adding search. We spent a lot of time uh, building the plumbing for this. A lot of what the agent is doing it's actually doing the same kind of actions that you would do in the IDE. It's editing the code in a similar way that you would edit it. It's installing dependencies using the same tools that we expose to users. So all the UI that you see in, in the replit you know and love uh, is exposed to the agent. So the agent is sort of a multiplier user in the same, uh, same environment. We're about to deploy it to the cloud. And when we deploy this app, there's, there's no difference between what we built here you don't have to configure a server, you don't have to do any of you don't have to configure a database, all of that is configured for you. When I had this idea, I had it when I was traveling. Uh, and, and that happened on my phone. And actually, I can start the project on my phone. And I can actually finish the project on my phone as well. Anytime you have an idea, it doesn't have to be this fleeting idea. You can just you can just put it into Replit and I'll start making it for you. And then, you know, we got this initial prototype, but I can also go and browse the code myself. Uh, I can use, uh, you know, Replit's LLMs, or you can use your favorite LLM. The code is all yours; it's there, um, and um, uh, and you can continue using the agent. You can switch to Replit AI. You can do whatever you want with it. You have full authority over the code that the agent just uh, just created. And there you have it: uh, Replit agent uh, created a REPL, configured the Python environment, installed dependencies, wrote the code all in two minutes and we got an app running that we were able to deploy to the cloud and now anyone can use it. So this is Replit Agent. It's available in early access uh, and would love your feedback. Thank you.